Now, the minority in parliament say they are dismayed by what they call the wanton dissipation of public funds after the ministry spent over 68 million cities to purchase WASI past questions for students. The expenditure incurred in 2020 and 2021, according to the minister, was part of government efforts to ensure that students are properly prepared for the exams. Uh, while the minority are criticizing the sole sourcing used and the amount involved. More from the minority shortly. First, uh, listen to the Education Minister, uh, Dr. Yao Ose Educhum, who says the decision to use sole sourcing was an advice from the Ghana Education Service. As part of the government policy to improve access, equity, and quality of education across the country, introduce the provision of materials to public senior high schools across the country under the free senior high school program to guide students in their learning and preparation towards the West African Examination Council's examination. The ministry employed the single source method in procuring the 568,755 past question papers for the senior high school students who wrote the West Africa Senior School Certificate exams in 2020. The method employed was informed by the recommendations from the Ghana Education Service and the West African Examination Council. Mrs. Akiola Publications Company Limited and Kingdom Boot Stationery Limited were recommended by the GES and the West African Examination Council. But Minority Chief Whip governs Kwame Agboja said the explanation did not make sense and that there was nothing in law that justified using sole sourcing to photocopy past questions. Entity may engage in single source procurement under Section 41 with the approval of the board. It did not ask you to consult WAIEC. It did not ask you to consult Minister of Education in the process of determining the procurement source. So you keep repeating that with advice from WAIEC and other things. The law does not ask you to do that. It's only the board that can do it. Mr. Speaker, with the figures you provided, with, yeah, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, with the figures you provide, will you be surprised to know that based on the figures, the, the contract price, and the number of question papers, one question paper photocopied in 59 Ghana cities? Are you aware? Honorable, the question is not admitted. Speaker, isn't that, is, is this, if you multiply the number of question papers times the 33 million, one question paper photocopy is 59 cities. Meanwhile, MP for Shaiman, NS Nogbein, who's named a question to the minister stood, told journalists at a news conference that it was unconscionable to blow 68 million cities to photocopy past questions. The Ministry of Education procured, let me say, photocopied examination question papers at a cost of 33 million Ghana cities. Photocopy. 33 in 2020. 33 million Ghana cities at a unit cost of 59.10 Ghana cities. 59.10 Ghana cities a photocopy of examination question papers. And that was done under the single source procurement method. You and I know very well that we have a lot of companies, entities that could produce examination pass questions. We have a lot. It is not only Akiola or Kingdom Books that could produce or that could make a photocopy of that. Even if that is the case, what is WAEC doing? the examination body, they could have also photocopied the same for the government. But the Ministry of Education procured, photocopied this uh, amount of money, taxpayers' money, of 33.6 million Ghana cities in 2020. In 2021, they did the same by using an amount of 34 point something over 34 million Ghana cities at a cost price of 78 uh, Ghana cities as well. So in total, the government has spent 68.5 million Ghana cities in two years in making photocopies of examination question papers for 
uh, our wasi i mean uh, uh, candidate